Hey there. Hey, what brings you here? I need to get out of the house. JR. No. Yes. I don't know. It's not a big deal. Well, that face tells me that it is. Listen, the only way that I can offer you my fabulously wise and always correct advice is if you tell me what's going on. Sorry. No, it's all right. Just Can hold that thought, OK? okay. <clears throat> Crystals. <clears throat> yeah, I got the order right here. You said four strawberry and two peach, right? <clears throat> what has she done? Well, she, she hasn't done anything. Uh, I don't know. She, she, we talked a little. She gave me some advice. It, I mean, it's funny, right? Uh, taking love advice from a lesbian. Hey. I thought you were going to be at the gallery opening with Sienna. It turns out we are not quite a match. Oh, I'm sorry. I'll survive. Uh, so are you meeting JR here? No, he's at home. There's some work crisis. He told me the strangest thing. <laughs> JR has a talent for that. Mm -hmm. He said that you helped him. Gave him advice on how to get me back? He told you, huh? Because of you. Uh, me. Mm -hmm. You told him that honesty was the only way with me, so he was honest. Wow. Exactly. I, I, I never figured that JR would want to share credit. I mean, you know, not, not that I mind. It's not that I wanted star billing or anything. I just, I gave him that music box because I knew how much that song went to you. And then the um, orange soda and the donuts and the comedy club were just... Wait, wait, wait. That was all you? Well, I, I thought you said JR told you. He told me that you gave him advice. I had no clue. You... Why would you do that? I'm sorry if... if... It, if you're upset that I helped JR, but I, I saw how he was falling in love with you again, and I, it looked like you were falling just as hard. But there's a difference between helping somebody and manipulating a situation. It, but I saw the way that you looked at him, and how happy you were when, when you and, and he were with AJ as a family together again. I knew you wanted that. I thought he was finally paying attention to me and who I am. That JR was looking past JR and seeing me and knowing me. Well, he, he does know you. I was just helping him with the details. So every time I thought that he did something special because he knew that it was important to me or because he remembered that I liked it, that was, that was you? You tracked down the music box with my dad's song? Yeah. And the comedy club? And the picnic with the donuts and the orange soda? I knew I didn't tell him about that. I knew it. He swore that I did and that I forgot about it, but it was a lie. Same old JR. No, JR loves you. That is not a lie. All this time you were acting like my friend. I am and your And being friend. happy for me and acting surprised when you knew it was happening because you were planning it. Why would you be a part? Can you give me one good reason why you would be a part of this? I helped JR do all those things because I couldn't do them myself. You wanted to do all those things for me? You know, this is, this is exactly what I didn't want to happen. I helped JR because I helped him. And you're freaking out because, in your mind, all you see is some lesbian with a crush. That is not true. You know, I don't, I don't think that we should see each other for a little while. Maybe you're right. I wish I knew. Are you all right? Yeah, totally. 
Well, that's a good answer, except I know you. You're not. So I'm thinking you're going to need to see a work of art in progress. The gatehouse. You're going to love what I've done. I bet I will. Yeah. Come on. My beautiful wife, who I love very much. Bianca script that move too? Scott. Hey, Bianca. Hey. What you got there? This was one of Stuart's. Really? I don't remember that one. Yeah, he uh, he gave it to me a long time ago when I was living in Seattle with my dad. Something to remind me of Pine Valley, I guess. Mm. I, I actually I took it to Paris with me too. But now that I'm home I, and you're restoring the gatehouse, I thought, I don't know, it belonged here. Are you sure? Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Okay. Um, you want to take a walk around? I'll show you what I've done with the place. Ooh. And I'll, uh, I'll call Marissa, have her join us. What's wrong? Is there a problem? Uh, Marissa and I just uh, need a little distance. I, I don't know. Maybe you will too once I tell you what I've done. Did you go to bed early last night because you were mad at me about something? About something? Well, I came clean about Bianca giving me advice. Oh, really? Exactly how much advice was there, JR? One or two conversations? I wasn't counting. Bianca tracked down and bought that music box because she knew how much that song meant to me. And then there was the night at the comedy club. Oh, and the picnic with the donuts that my parents used to take me on. You swore that I told you about that, but I never did, did I? What the hell has Bianca been feeding you? The truth, a concept that is so hard for you to follow. I've been honest with you. You've been selectively honest. You didn't tell me all of it. Okay, okay, I admit, I took a shortcut. Bianca went along with it. Because she knows I can make you happy. You used her. She went along with it because, because she cares about me. And so do I. Look, I'm sorry, okay? It was stupid, it was dumb. I just wanted things to work out. I, I wasn't thinking. Yeah, you know, you're trying to spin me even now. Oh, come on! You, you know, there's always gonna be something that you're trying to hide. I mean, like the last week with all the furtive texting and the checking your phone every five minutes. What is it this time, JR? Yes, I am a walking STD. It was nothing. It was just work. <sighs> Do you know what's sad is that you could be telling the truth and I still wouldn't believe you. Scott was right. Lying and manipulation don't skip a generation. You are just as bad as Adam. Oh, uh, I cannot believe you did that. Well, I thought that I was helping her. By pushing Jara and Marissa together? I told you, he's only gonna hurt her again because that's what he does. Yet you still encouraged him? Well, she was happy with him. How could you let him use you like that? Well, maybe I was using him too. What? What could Jr. possibly do for you? You know, sometimes I, I used to look at this painting and see Stuart's face. I could feel his heart. Your dad loved unconditionally, purely. It's the kind of love that all the rest of us are just trying to... Hey. I just wanted her to be happy. I know you did. I mean, she's your friend. You care about her the same way I do. And I'm sure you were just trying to bring out the good in JR. But Bianca, here's the thing. There is no good in JR. It's all gone. He destroys everything he touches, and he will never change. 
Oh, good, you're here. Hey, grab a suitcase, start throwing stuff in, and we will come back and get the rest of your stuff later. What are you talking about? You, you were moving out of here. I just moved in. Yeah, well, JR's been up to his old tricks, and I don't know if he used guilt or if he pressured you, okay? But, Marissa, you do not have to stay here. I know. In fact, I'm gonna help you and AJ find another place to stay. And once I am done with that gatehouse, you are more than welcome no, to Scott, stay here. Scott, Scott, slow down. I'm not going anywhere. Marissa. JR is not making me stay here. That's my decision. Marissa, he has not changed, okay? He's still the same lying, manipulative jerk he has always been. I don't want to talk about this with you. Well, to hear Bianca, it's been business as usual around here. Wait a minute. What does Bianca have to do with this? She stopped by. She told me what's been going down. What exactly did she say? I hope you're happy now. What do you want? You said to be honest with Marissa. I told her that you helped me win her back, and it blew up in my face. Uh, and, and that's my fault? You're damn right it is. She already felt love. She felt appreciated. But, JR, that was a lie. You couldn't expect that to go on forever. Forever? I didn't need forever. I just need a little more time to... Oh, to, to suck her back in? You said that you wanted to help me. But obviously, you couldn't stand not having the credit. Oh, come on. I do not care about getting credit. Well, obviously, you do. Now Marissa thinks that you know her better than I do. Well, maybe I do. I just wish I... What? What do you wish, Bianca? It doesn't matter. But I'm glad Marissa knows the truth. What's in this for you? I thought you wanted your friend to be happy. Yeah, more than you'll ever know. You care about Marissa, don't you? Yeah, you know I do. Then why did you turn her against me? You agreed to help me. Yeah, that was my mistake. That was me believing you were sincere this time. And now you don't. Look, I don't doubt that you love Marissa in your way. I just don't think you're capable of giving her what she wants. Who is? I, I have no idea. Oh, come on. You're Bianca. You, 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 you're so wise and you got these opinions. If I'm not the man that's right for Marissa, then who is? <laughs> but that is so typical JR. What is? But believing that Marissa can't get along without a man in her life. You know, it's funny, you still haven't answered my question. Marissa is a smart, strong, independent woman who has managed to have a career while also raising a terrific son, sometimes in spite of a man. Whoa! Whoa, take it easy. Uh, where did that come from? I didn't mean to bring on all the, the man hate. Oh, come on, JR. You know I don't hate men. I don't even hate you. <laughs> I just don't believe that you're the answer to all her prayers, that's all. But I bet you do know who is. When the right person comes along, yeah, I trust Marissa to be smart enough to know it. It's Scott, isn't it? Isn't it? So when she told me she was playing Cyrano for JR, I just, ooh, I just so disappointed in her. No, I don't blame Bianca. I don't even blame JR. He was just being himself. I blame me for falling for it again, for being scared. What? You? Scared? What do you... You are one of the bravest people I know. <laughs> no, no, not so, not so brave. I'm terrified. Of what? I'm too terrified to even say it. I have to go. Well, where? No, I'm, I'm going to go find Bianca. Well played, cousin. Could have done it better myself. Hey. Hey, back. Did a couple carve their initials in this tree? Uh, people don't do that anymore. They post it on social networks. That's too bad. It loses something in the translation. Computers crash, but a tree. I, um, I thought we agreed to keep our distance. I miss my friend. So do I. Why did you come back to the house? I, um, had to drop something off for Scott. It's not completely true. I wanted to make sure you were doing okay. So, are you? 
I'm not sure. I allowed myself to trust JR again. Again, I better judgment. And I helped him. Why did you do it? I thought that being with him was what you wanted. Even though you wanted... Okay, I knew, I knew you'd never feel that way about me. So, what now? I think from now on, I need to ignore my better judgment and do the exact opposite. What is your better judgment telling you to do? To run. To run like hell. Well, if you want to run, go ahead. Nobody's stopping you. Nobody but me. I have been running ever since I found out that all those wonderful things JR did for me came from you. Or no, wait, no, maybe it was even before that when we went away with the kids and you told me how you felt. Or maybe it was even when we were trapped in that closet and we had to depend on each other to survive. I knew something was going on even then, but I just couldn't accept. I'm talking too much, aren't I? Yeah. Sorry. I can't do this. We both know this is a mistake. I don't know that at all. Look, I, I get that people want to experiment. Maybe you didn't get to in college. So now that you've kissed a girl, you can sing along with Katy Perry and really mean it. Why are you being like this? If you didn't want me to kiss you, then why did you kiss me back? I have feelings for you. Marissa, what do you think it is I have for you? I, I know you, and I know this is not who you are. Hey, isn't that for me to decide? Look, I took a big leap here. I, I didn't ask and, you to. And it felt right. I want this. I want you. If this isn't what you want, then don't make it about me. How can it not be about you? Tell me what you're really afraid of. Look, I've, I've been down this road before, and it's a dead end. I end up losing my lover and my best friend. So that is why we need to stop this before it starts. You just have to trust me on this. You want to carve our initials in that tree? Okay, people will say, oh, that's so nice. Because they won't know who we are. That we're both women. And it only gets more complicated from there. I don't care what people think. What about JR? <sighs> JR is wrong for me. I know that now. For the longest time, I've been trying to figure out what it is between us. When I was tied up in that closet, fearing for my life, it was you there, making me feel safe, giving me the strength that I needed to fight back. Well, we both did that for each other. That's what friends do. Yeah, but it's more than that. When I found out that you gave JR the music box to give to me. Everything just clicked. What do you mean? Well, the music box plays a song that my father used to sing to me when I was scared. And it made me feel good about myself. And it made me feel like I could do anything in the world as long as I had the courage to try. 
You are that song, Bianca. You make me feel the way that song makes me feel. What could be wrong with that? I just care about you too much, Marissa. I don't want either of us to get hurt. But you're hurting me now. By walking away. Uh, someday, probably sooner than you think, you'll, um, you'll see that this is right. Marissa? Are you okay? JR and I are over. Oh, I mean, you know it's for the best, though, right? He, he was only gonna break your heart again. Looks like I went and broke it all by myself this time. Oh, oh. So why do I keep falling for straight women? Well, they aren't all completely straight. Oh, straight enough. I don't know. You don't get to pick who you love. You too? Mm-hmm. What happened with Griff? I don't know. I... We, we've gotten to such a, a good place right now. I mean, we, we worked so hard to get here, and I really thought that we were in this good place. But you're not. <sighs> to be honest, I don't really know where we are. I mean, if you'd asked me this morning, I would have told you that things are great. But then today, it was like Griff put these walls up. And when I looked at him, I didn't even know who he was. We don't understand why Bianca would have helped JR to begin with. I mean, to take everything that you and she shared, all the intimate details, and then pass them along to JR so he could pull you back in. It's complicated. I don't know, Marissa. It seems pretty straightforward to me. I mean, wait a minute. I think I see what's going on here. Bianca has a thing for you, doesn't she? It's not what you think. <sighs> You know, it happens. It happens. She told you how she feels, hasn't she? Yes. Yeah. See, now that's going to be a little awkward there. But, you know, I, Marissa, I wouldn't even worry about it. Because you two, you're going you're gonna to figure it out. I mean, you care about each other too much not to. All right, come here. Come here. OK. JR, I think you should just turn around. I think you've done enough damage. I like a moment alone with Marissa in private. Well, I don't think she wants to talk to you. No, it's okay. You sure? Mm-hmm. All right. You and I, we've been making a go of this for some time. And there's someone getting in the way. I think it's time we both admitted it. Okay, let's make a pact. From now on, and neither one of us is allowed to fall for somebody that we actually like. Um, what happened to you can't pick who you love? Oh, I think you at least have a say in, in who you give your heart to, right? So we should pick people we hate? Yes. I mean, yeah, I mean, doesn't it, it's easier that way when things blow up, right? You know, you have a point. Right, don't I? Mm-hmm. Cheers. Cheers to that. <clears throat> We're not gonna really hold each other that, are we? Probably not. Okay. Yeah, it's good. Not happening. <laughs> hey, Bianca. Hey. Is Marissa home? She's inside in the parlor. But, uh, I think you're gonna wanna give her a little space. Oh, is she with JR? Not for long. <sighs> Look, if we're gonna move forward, we need to be 100% honest with each other, with ourselves. I've tried to change myself to be the best man I could be for you, for AJ, 
Sometimes it's hard. And I've been very weak, and... There's some things I haven't told you. And I'm pretty sure there's... Things you haven't told me, too. Like what? Scott. But I get it. Okay, he's safe. No, JR, I am not playing it safe. After all the pain that you've been through, I think it's safe to say you're afraid to take a chance with me. No, JR. Damn it, I am not afraid. And no one would blame you for taking a risk, but I'm the one that you want. No, you're not. I don't want you. And I don't want Scott. I want Bianca. Bianca? I'm sorry that I just blurted it out like that. I know this must be a surprise. Yeah, considering you're straight and she's a woman, yeah, you could say that. It's not something that I ever planned or even ever expected. Okay, all right. You know what, what, what is this? What do you, what do you mean? Is this your way of getting back at me? For what? For using Bianca to win you back. No, JR. What's going on? Are you on Team Scott now? I, I don't know what's going on. You don't know what's going on. Well, then, I guess you owe us both some answers. I know this seems crazy. I've barely processed it myself. Okay, maybe because there's nothing to process. That's just a guess. Is Jay all right? Are you angry? Is that why you're saying all this? I'm saying it because I can't not say it anymore. All right, you know, you're wasting your time. Trying to mess with my head, it's not gonna work. No, that is not no, what I'm, I'm trying sorry, to... okay? I am sorry. I should never pretend those ideas were mine. But you gotta be able to see that I, I was just trying to make you happy. You can't honestly want to punish me because of that. No, this isn't about punishing you. It's not about you at all. Are you serious? You want me, us? No, she's not serious. Hey, news flash here. Marissa likes men. Go on. Tell her. Tell her before this gets out of control. All I can tell her is the truth. I'm falling in love with you. All right, let's just... Let's back up for a second here. When you first told me how you felt. How you felt? I was totally thrown. I was terrified. It forced me to acknowledge something that I've been trying so hard to push down. Wait, wait a second. You told Marissa that you had a thing for her? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And you known about this for a while? Do you know how messed up that sounds? I mean... You were supposed to be, I mean, basically, you were going to be my wingman, right? Helping me get presents and suggestions and the tools to win her back. But, but the whole time is because you had feelings for her. Wait a minute. When you guys came back from that trip, that's when Bianca spilled her guts to you. You were so freaked out, you ran to my bed. Answer me! Did you have sex with me because you were scared of the alternative? You're right, I did. Yes. You're taking advantage of Marissa. I'm sorry, taking advantage? Yeah, I hurt you. So you've been... Scared and confused ever since. Is that really how you see me? Okay, you're missing the point. Bianca saw her opportunity, so she took it. She got you to believe that you have feelings for her. Just to stick it to me. You're wrong. Oh. Yeah. 
And for the record, I can think for myself. I know that you can think for yourself. I didn't mean okay, it. We get that you're yeah. pissed, that you're shocked. Okay, we get it. I never intended to hurt you, JR. Oh. I don't buy that for a second. And if you were a man, I'd break you! All Bianca did was be honest with her feelings. It's my fault that I couldn't do the same. If you're gonna be mad at somebody, be mad at me. I don't wanna be mad. I want our life back. I know, I thought I did too. For AJ's sake. Yeah, but for me too. I was searching for something. A new start, I guess. And you were being so wonderful that I thought that new start was with you. But I realize now that turning to you was just me running away. I don't understand. Have you always been attracted to women? Have you ever, like... No, and no. It's as new to me as it is to you. But it is happening. And I lied before. I am not falling in love with you. I'm already there. And yeah, I just said that out loud. <laughs> I can't promise to always know what I'm doing or that I won't step backward when I'm trying to move forward. But I really wanna see where this goes. Hold on a second. Uh, Kendall. Uh, wait, slow down. What? Uh, yeah, I'll be, I'll be right there. Worst, uh, timing ever. It's a family emergency. I have to go. Is everything okay? I don't know. I heard everything you said. I will, um, call you. Do you want to talk about There's nothing to talk about. You made yourself perfectly clear. Well, at least somebody thinks so. I'm really sorry I didn't mean to hurt you. I've been kicked in the teeth before. At least I saw it coming. We should probably sit down with AJ. Tell him what's going on. He's gonna be so disappointed. Whose fault is that? It's mine. I will tell him myself if you would like. I'll tell him. I mean, he's just a little boy, right? He'll bounce back. And you? I'll live. Hey, on, uh, on the bright side, at least uh, we weren't married. We'll have to go through another divorce. I know, but I, I know you were hoping. You made your choice. Marissa, it doesn't matter if it was Scott or if it was Bianca or the mailman. Bottom line is, it just wasn't me. I'm sorry. Get out of here. JR. I said get the hell out!
something's happened. Good or bad? Both. I'm in love. Being in love is definitely a good thing when it's with the right person. And maybe in the end, JR is that person. Well, it's not JR. I didn't even see it myself at first, and then when I finally did, I just pushed it out of my mind because I could not go there. But, um, and I just couldn't deny it anymore. When I'm with this person, I am happier than I have ever been with anybody else. And I couldn't ignore that. And I don't want to. I want us to be together. This, uh, person that makes you so happy is it Bianca I can't believe you knew I didn't know but I had a feeling because of the way you two just were together Deep down, I knew that JR and I weren't right for each other. Now I kind of see why. She was the first to admit it, an attraction. I pretended that it was one-sided, but um, it wasn't. I was just scared. I still am, of course. Look, I know this is big, and it's new, and I'm sure you did not see it coming. But isn't it exactly what I've been looking for? A person who understands me and supports me, makes me laugh? Someone who's good and honest. I guess I just couldn't go with it because of what I thought it would make me, but... You know, it doesn't really make me anything. I'm still the same person. I'm just in love with a woman. And not just any woman. Bianca is something special. Yeah, she really is. <sighs> what if I wanted the traditional picture-perfect family so much that I've been forcing it? going after a life that I didn't really want. You know, there are no guarantees in life. And definitely not in love. But looking at you now, honey, you just seem at peace. You do, in a way that you never were with, with JR. Well, that's... I mean, with JR, I was always waiting for the other shoe to drop. <laughs> I was never sure that there wasn't some lie that was about to blow up in my face. Yeah, well, you don't have to worry about that with Bianca. No. No, but there are a ton of other things that I'm going to have to worry about. Like how I'm going to explain this to everybody. Oh, no. You do not have to worry about that. I don't think everyone's going to be as accepting as you are. Oh, no. No, they're not. Not everyone is going to accept this. Not everyone is going to have an open mind, but I don't give a damn, and you shouldn't either. Honey, you have every right to be happy. And that look on your face right now, that says happy. And anybody who really cares about you they're going to want that for you. <sighs> I am so terrified. Oh. But I'm excited. And I'm happy. Did I mention also that I am terrified? <laughs> I'm terrified. It must be true love then. <laughs> so I don't know what happens next. Well, honey, you've done the most important things. I mean, you... You've been honest with yourself. And Bianca knows how you feel. That's, that's huge. That just, that takes a lot of courage. You are really okay with this? I am more than okay with it. 
Whatever you need, I'm gonna be there for you. Except for right now, because I think I'm burning my cornbread. I gotta go. <laughs> Thank you. It's okay, go ahead, go ahead. Okay. Everything okay with your mom? Uh, no. No, it's bad. It's really bad. How can I help? You already are. Unbelievable. After everything David has done, he is still torturing people. Yeah, and you should have seen my Uncle Jack's face when my mom declared her love for David. Let me talk to David. No. Bianca? No. No, I'm not letting you get sucked into this. I'm sorry you have to deal with this. You have um, no idea how many times I've wanted to do that. <laughs> Just reach across the table and take your hand. <laughs> but I was um, scared. So was I. Right up until the moment that you walked in here. But now that you're here with me, I'm not afraid anymore. Well, I am sure glad to hear that. Uh, you know? I know. <laughs> and I couldn't be happier. <laughs> All I've ever wanted is for my girl to be with someone that she truly loves, and I can see that she is. So, what more? Could a mama hope for? <laughs> hey. Is that okay? Of course he is. Well, he seems mad. Oh. Well, I'm sure he'll be himself again really soon. What's wrong with him? Come on. Maybe you and I should go somewhere else to talk about this. No, no. Here's good. How you doing, AJ? I brought you a cookie, chocolate yeah. chip. Let me see that. Is it the kind that I like? No nuts. Just like my mom used to get me. Mm, maybe we should get some milk for that cookie, huh? No. I'm not leaving my son. Especially when his mother's mixed up as a bag of trail mix. Stop it, JR. Oh, come on. Why, 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 yeah. Not even her husband yet. Oh, don't do this. Well, you haven't, you haven't broke the good news to him yet? This is not the way that I want to talk to him about this. Oh, it's simple, though. Come on, Marissa, it's simple. Look, watch, watch this. <clears throat> Forget about the birds and the bees, right? It's more like, um, the birds and, uh, the birds. Yeah. Huh? Listen, <laughs> you're drunk. I'm trying to help my son. Or are you trying to punish him too? You know what? Whatever. Hmm? Get off me. I love you, right? Inside out and upside down. Yeah, exactly. That's right. Your dad and I... We're not going to get back together. But we're still going to be a family. Just a different kind of family, you know? I mean, they're all different kinds of families. And, um, and different kinds of couples. 
Bianca and I love each other. And we're gonna be together. You understand? Like how Maria and Gabby had two moms. Yeah, like that. And like Bobby Douglas, how he has two dads. Yeah, yeah, like Bobby and his dads, right. Can I go get some ice cream now? Well, hug me first. <laughs> Drunk and a jerk. Is that the example you want to set for AJ? <laughs> well, <laughs> you know it's a family tradition. It is so you. I'll tell you what. Why don't you go away so this alcoholic can enjoy his booze? You never change. Why are you even here? When you don't get what you want. You feel sorry for yourself, and then, and then you go right to the bottle. You know, the last time you were this bad, you jumped out of a window. <laughs> I landed on my feet. OK, maybe I didn't. That is classic JR, reeking with liquor and self-pity. <sighs> ooh, ooh, that's harsh, considering you won. But I haven't won anything. Yeah, it seems just like yesterday you had babe between the sheets just to screw with me. And now here you are with Marissa. But this time it's real. I mean, how is that even possible? Marissa and I, we were, we were so close to getting back together. No, you weren't. Because you stole her. No, all I did was love Marissa. And to my amazement, she loves me back. You think that makes it better? You think I don't know I screwed up? Yeah, it was me. The truth is, I screwed up. Now, the truth is, you had nothing to do with it. So is, is AJ OK with you and me? It's weird. I think he's trying to make me feel better. AJ is a strong little boy. We'll get him through it together. Thank you. Oh, isn't that sweet? We have to do all this lady love stuff in front of our son. Um, love is exactly what AJ needs right now. No, what AJ needs is some time with his dad. Isn't that right, AJ? Some guy stuff, right? Um. AJ rolls with the big dogs, right? Woo, 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 right? <laughs> huh? I'll tell you what, why don't we go play some catch later? What do you say to that? I don't want to. Of course you want to. What's wrong with you? No. That's all right, sweetie. I'm sorry. Okay, we can do whatever you want to go do. All right? Oh, God, I gotta get out of here. Oh, JR? Wait, here, give me these. What the hell are you doing? You are not driving. I anyone. can do what the hell I want to do. Not drunk. I'll walk. It's all my fault. No, you are not the one drinking and acting out. I know, but JR would still be sober if I hadn't announced that I'm in love with you. No, alcohol was JR's choice. He did that all on his own. I don't need Tad teaching me how to be a man. I don't need Marissa teaching me about love. I don't need anybody. I 
I'm worried about JR. I hope he gets help soon, but until then, I have to do what's best for AJ. Well, I will do whatever you want. Okay, between me and you and the girls and the whole Martin clan, AJ will be just surrounded by love. And that is the most important thing right now. What? I'm just wondering, why did it take me so long to realize how perfect you are for me? Surprise. Are you okay? I'll live. Oh, thanks to Erica. From what I hear, that knife in your chest had something to do with you using her to get the hospital back. You think I had this coming? You always push people too far. Well, if you think I deserve this, why are you here? Love. Thank you, Marissa. I love you too. I'm here out of love for Bianca. You've been so busy playing master of the universe, maybe you haven't heard. We're together. Does that shock you? The only thing that shocks me is how little Americans are willing to pay for health care. Are you happy? Very. Then I wish you all the best. Well, if you mean that, I need your help. Bianca's very upset about her mother. <sighs> Erica stabs me, and she gets the sympathy. You drove her to it. I didn't put the knife in her hand. Well, you took advantage of her. Uh, you know, I'm tired of everyone saying that. No one takes advantage of Erica Kane, believe me. She is locked up in Oak Haven. Really? Well, maybe that's where she belongs, for her own safety and everyone else's. Well, maybe this is where you belong, for everyone else's safety. Too bad it's not permanent. My favorite people. AJ is um, making a picture for Miranda and Gabby for when they get back from camp. Oh, good. Mm -hmm. Are you OK? Mm -hmm. We were just uh, talking about dads. Oh. You know your dad loves you, right, AJ? He's just going through a really hard time right now. Am I in trouble? Why would you be in trouble? For not wanting to go see dad. Can I tell you a little secret? Sometimes my dad makes me so mad that I could scream. Really? Mm hmm Yeah, he does things that make me upset. Things that I don't like. But then I remember that he's, he's an adult. He can take care of himself. It's not up to me to take care of him. Just remember that your daddy loves you. And I love you. Come here. And Bianca loves you. And Miranda and Gabby love you. And your grandparents love you, and your aunts and uncles love you, and... Wow, that's a lot of people. Yeah, it is. It's a lot of people. That's why everything's gonna be okay. Hey, bud. <laughs> you know, you don't have to be afraid of me. I was a jerk, and I'm sorry. It's all right. You know, I know a lot about dads being jerks. My dad was a jerk, but he loved me, and I loved him. Maybe we should do this another time, huh? I got an idea. How about we go to the park, we go fly a kite? I don't want to. Are you sure? 
Because I know where we can go get a monster, okay? One that's uh, got a real long tail on it, all sorts of crazy colors. Well, he was actually falling asleep before his food came. He's feeling really tired. Don't tell me how my kid feels. Jada, lower your voice. What? You don't like how I'm talking to your girlfriend? You're making a scene. You're the one who's a bad influence. Come on, let's go, AJ. Let's go. Come on, it's gonna be fun. Mommy! Look, look at me. Safe. I am not hurting you. Let me go! It's just a damn kite, all right? It's gonna be fun. JR, he doesn't want to go. Really? Way to put words in his mouth. Look at him. He's upset. You know, if you didn't tell him Let what to go. think, he'd be just fine. Let me go, Dad. Let's go. No, JR, no, stop. Back off. What are you doing? You stay out of this. It's gonna be fun, okay? Let's go. No. Get away from me. I hate you. I hate you. I'm not gonna be my dad anymore. It's okay. I'm not a monster. Well, I know that. I love you, AJ. One day you'll understand that. You can tell Crystal to put this on my tab. God, I'll be right back. No, no, we still have his keys. He'll walk it off, and then he'll sleep it off. But when he wakes up, who will be there to take care of him? The only person who can help JR is JR. I can still fly a kite. Yes. Yes, we can. I know exactly where we can get one. You want to do that? All right. Oh, let's do it. Best idea you've had. What's wrong? My car keys are not here. Kill yourself? That would make it easier for you, wouldn't it? You had no business driving in your condition. You should have taken my keys away from me. You were drunk, JR. You could have hurt somebody in my car. But I didn't. I hit a tree. So, uh, are you gonna have me arrested? Maybe I should have you locked up. Well, that'd be great. Mm -hmm. Take away my freedom. You've already taken yeah. everything else from me. Well, it me. would give you a chance to sober up. Well, don't act like you give a damn. Not after poisoning my own son against me. AJ doesn't want to talk to you because he's scared of you the way you get when you've been drinking. I'm his father, damn it. Yes, and he misses his father. Not this nasty, stumbling drunk that he doesn't even recognize. This is all on you, JR. Just you. My son loves me. Me. You understand? He loves who you were, not this person. Well, that's a bunch of crap. AJ would never stay away from me if you hadn't been filling his head full of lies. I can't talk to you. That's fine. Why don't you two go off and do, uh, whatever you people do? We people? Yeah. I'll tell you something you're not gonna do is keep my son away from me. End the discussion. I was worried that this would happen, so, uh, I had a judge issue a temporary restraining order. You what? Until you go to rehab? and prove to the court that you can be a responsible parent. I have full-time custody of AJ. I can't believe that you would do this to me. We have a court date in a couple of weeks. It's right there in the paperwork. How oh, you court date? If you can show up and prove that you're getting help and prove that you're getting sober, I have no problem returning to our joint custody what? arrangement. You don't have a problem? You don't have a problem? Who the hell do you think you are? You're easy, JR. No, you back off. It's none of your damn business. Yeah, it is my business. And if you don't back off, Chief of Police is right over there. JR, you better care about turning this around because if you don't, I will sue for permanent custody. I'll see you in hell first. JR. 
Come on, Marissa. That's right, go. Both of you, get out of my sight. Hi, I need to talk to you. Yeah, come on in. Um, what is it? What's wrong? I, I just came from seeing JR, and it was really bad. It's really, really bad. What happened? Marissa got a temporary injunction for full custody of AJ, at least until JR straightens himself out. And that couldn't have gone over well. No, no, he almost lost it on her. I've never seen this side of him. I hate what the alcohol is doing to him, but I have to protect our son. Well, of course you Right, do. you know, our poor little boy. AJ okay, will be fine. Okay, we'll make sure of that. But we all will. Marissa, you did the right thing. I didn't know any other way. As much as I love JR, I mean, he's been like a son to me ever since he was a little baby. He is a Chandler, which means he's one of those people that doesn't recognize a problem until it hits him straight between the eyes. Okay? Yeah, I'm gonna be fine. JR is. Uh... JR is sick. Nobody can help him. I mean, if he can't even get sober for his own son. Hey, baby, how are you? I'm sorry, I thought you were upstairs with Opal and the girls. I heard you crying, Mommy. I'm sorry, baby, come here. Look, I was a little sad before, but I'm okay now. Especially now I'm seeing you. What is it? What's wrong? I miss my daddy. Not the mean one, the nice one. We all want your daddy to get better. Well, why isn't he? Sometimes your daddy gets really mad at himself when things don't go the way that he wants them to. So he will say and do things that he doesn't really mean. Like yelling? Yeah, exactly, like yelling. But you know that when he isn't feeling bad, he doesn't do those things. Well, maybe I can help him. No, sweetheart. No. Maybe if I be really, really nice to him, he'll be okay again. I mean, he already knows that you're the nicest boy in the whole world. You know, the only person that can help Daddy get better right now is Daddy. Hi. Hi. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm fine. You sounded so not you on the phone. Uh, well, things have been pretty crazy. A lie. Uh, okay, uh, Biggs, do you, do you really think that you should tell her? Yeah, I, I, I trust Marissa with anything. And to be totally honest, I really need her right now. Okay, now you got me really freaked out. Okay, um, how about you just sit down? Um, okay, you know, that's like the least calming thing you can say to me, right? Okay, just sit. I'll tell you everything. Okay. You know what? I'm, I'm gonna go um, go check on Spike and Ian, so you can help yourself to anything in the kitchen. Okay. Okay. Tell me what's going on. Oh, you know, um, just people coming back from the dead and stuff like that. Your mom's okay. Well, yeah, yeah. That is the craziest part. I mean, she's more herself than she's been in weeks. That's the craziest part, huh? Oh, good point. Statement withdrawn. <laughs> Look at you with the lawyer speak. Oh, my girlfriend taught me well. Your girlfriend, huh? Oh. Is it too much too soon? No, it's long overdue. <laughs> What's wrong? I don't know, I'm just... Here we are again, you know? David responsible for yet another unspeakable stunt. Oh, come on, don't take on any of his garbage. Right. Tell me what I can do to help. You're already helping. Mm. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm uh, sorry, I, 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 I didn't mean to. Walk into your, into your own living room, it's okay. <laughs> if anyone should apologize, it should no, Don't you dare. I am so happy for you guys, really. It's obvious you were meant to be together. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, but you've got a lot to deal with. 
I'll talk to you later. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely. Okay, good. Uh, uh, wait, 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 what, what? You just got here. I know, but I couldn't stay anyway. I promised AJ a rematch in Cars Traffic Jam before bed. I got to level seven last time. Wow, that's impressive. I know, I'm pretty good at this. I thought it was pretty yeah. good, too. Yeah. So, bye, Kendall. Bye. Bye. I, um, I'll call you. Okay, bye. Bye. I'm sorry. For what? For running Marissa out of here like that. She probably thinks I'm a basket case. No, she doesn't. I am, uh, I'm seeing it, but I'm still not believing it. Zach is home. He's alive. I just had never seen her smile like that. Yeah. She's not the only one. Well, um, Zach coming home isn't the only thing putting a smile on my face. Hi. David. Congratulations. Four. Finding love is a rare thing. Believe me, I know. Clearly, you found it. So I'm happy for you, both of you. Thank you. So how did you do it? Um, I'm sorry, what? Dixie and Zach, how did you bring them back? I'm sure the details will all come out shortly. Which means he's not gonna tell us. <laughs> well, right now just isn't the time. But when they do, I'm hoping that You'll have a better opinion of me. Hmm. All I'm going to say is thank you for saving Zach and for giving me and Bianca your blessing. Okay. <laughs> so maybe we can get together for lunch sometime. Like, I don't want to push. Yeah, we'll make a plan for next week. Next week it is, then. Okay. Bye. Uh, so, what do you want to do now? Well, the kids are already staying with Opal. Okay, um, well, maybe we should get dinner. Well, I was thinking... I mean, I mean, I was, um, I was wondering. <clears throat> oh my God, what is wrong with me? <laughs> Why would you say it? Um, well, you want to go back to the hotel with me? I, uh, you mean, uh, yeah. Yeah, I want to spend the night with you. Is this okay, being here? Is that okay? Yes, it's, uh, it's great. It's perfect. <sighs> you know, if you don't want to do this... Oh, no, 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 no. no I, I would understand. No, so. just listen. <laughs> listen to me, okay? Okay. I have never been so sure of anything in my life than being right here with you and loving you. Never. This is where I belong. A fragile face where the sky
precious rare and bleeding in my veins feeling that I've never ever shared don't wanna leave this moment past the present where we are I have been longing for this day to finally speak it's time there's only love You look perfect. Thank you. Um, it's just that um, last night was new for both of us, but um, especially for you. So I just want to make sure everything is okay. Mm, I'm so much better than okay. Oh. I can't believe how late it is. I know, God, I haven't slept that well in so long. <laughs> it must be the company. Yes, it's definitely the company. <laughs> Back to reality. Hi, Caleb. Uh, JR did what? JR had the custody hearing moved up. I know what he's doing. He's trying to get me off balance and throw me off my game. Hey. Hey, JR is not going to take AJ away from you. I won't let him. Okay, and you know Caleb definitely won't, right? Yes. I know that I'm not AJ's biological mother, but my connection to that little boy, he needs me. He'll have you. Right. Will you be there? the court with me, please? Oh, I will be your very own personal cheering section. Thank you. Hey, you and me. We're a package deal, right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you can't go to court on an empty stomach. Come on. You want me to do the uh, airplane, do you? The airplane? Uh-huh. <laughs> oh, wait, I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop it. Wait! <laughs> Hello? Kay Caleb, I'm not late, am I? What? Are you serious? No, no, th that's, um, thank you for telling me. Um, I will talk to you soon. JR tried to bribe the judge. Yeah, I know. And shocker, the judge wasn't too pleased about it. Yeah. So this hearing is just a formality. He's giving me full custody of AJ. Oh, that's amazing. Well, for me, it is. But you're worried about JR. No, what is he doing? Okay, we have to leave now or we're gonna be late. I'm not going. Jerry, you have to go. We, we, we have to be there. You have to... Why? So I can watch my son be ripped away from me? Jerry, I know that you're upset, okay? No, it's but... not gonna happen! I don't care what I have to do! My son is not gonna be raised by two lesbians. Right now... I just feel so lucky. And happy. <laughs> I mean, I have my son being with you last night. Wow, that was so special. Yeah. <laughs> Bonjour! <laughs> Mom, hi! How are you? You're, you're... Oh. back from Paris? Yes, I just got off the plane, and I can't wait to hear everything that I missed. <laughs> wow, it's really, it's so pretty. I know exactly what you can wear it with, too. It's gonna look great. Yeah, I, uh, my mom always knows just what to buy. 
I just, um, I wish she knew what I really wanted her to give. Yeah, she's changed a lot since that ordeal with Jane. Well, I don't know. That would have traumatized anyone. Yeah, right. It just feels like she's become more Erica Kane and less mom. Okay, well, I mean, you know her better than I do, but hasn't she always been very aware of herself? <laughs> yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah, but, but then someone else became her, and we didn't even realize it. Her own daughters. And I don't know, you just saw her. She didn't even have the time to, to stop and let me tell her about the most incredible thing that's happened in my life. You. You happen. Might if I uh, borrow my computer for a second? For what? Can I keep a secret? Okay, I'll show you. Look over here. It's a house. Yes. <laughs> I was just wondering if, if Crystal ever posts real estate listings on her bulletin board. No, you mean like some sweet house that'd be perfect for a young couple with uh, three kids? <laughs> Maybe. Hmm. I mean, I don't know if Marissa's ready for, for that kind of commitment yet, obviously, but I, I just, I want to know what's available. I'm thinking maybe the two of you should go for a nice little walk. A walk? Yeah, they got some real pretty houses for sale over by the park. Mm -hmm. Plants and seeds. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Uh, hey. Hi. Do you want to go for a walk? And how about you, mister? Care to join me in the kitchen? We'll raid the cookie jar. Okay. All right. Come on. Okay. Well, I guess we're walking then. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, after you. Oh, please. Wasn't that a beautiful house? Oh, it's so cute. And it's right on the park. Do you ever walk by a house and, and wonder about the people inside? If they're, I don't know, happy? Yeah, well, I mean, who wouldn't be happy in a house like that? So, you like it? Yes. Don't you? Yeah. I, I guess I've, I've lived in a lot of fancy houses in my life. I guess that's what comes with being Erica Kane's daughter. Well, there are some perks, too. Like, self-confidence. <laughs> yeah, and um, the belief that anything is possible. Anything. Would you look at that? Yes, Jr. That, that's what a happy couple looks like. Let's see how happy they are when I get AJ back. So is that the only uh, copy of the video that you have? Yeah. Jr. don't lie to me. Is there another copy of this sex video? No. I didn't think I needed another copy. Well, you don't need that one either, so hand it over. JR, anybody sees that video, they are going to immediately know that you're the one that recorded Bianca and your ex wife, and you will go to jail. So come on. What are you going to do? You're going to put it into your files? No, I'm going to burn it. And you? Never talk about this again. You understand? I guess I'm supposed to say thank you. Opal said JR didn't even try to see AJ or make any kind of trouble. He just wanted to drop off a video game and that was it. Ah, wow, sounds pretty civilized. You don't trust him? No. 
I don't know, maybe I'm being naive, but I guess I really hope that JR's trying to turn his life around. You know, I, I love the fact that you, you look for the good in everybody. I get it, I do the same thing. I just, um, I hope JR doesn't make you regret it. I've been doing a lot of thinking lately uh, about our living situation. As much as Miranda and Gabby love Wild Wind, I just think, I think we've imposed on Caleb too long. I think it's time we get our, our own place. Huh. Why? Um, I was, I was thinking the exact same thing. I, I can't live in a hotel anymore. It's not fair to AJ, and he really deserves a real home. Yeah, so, um, have you started looking? Yeah. I even found the perfect place. Yeah, same here. It's beautiful. Four bedrooms, that's big. Yeah. Um, yeah, that, I was getting to that part. I was just wondering if, um, maybe you and AJ wanted to move in with us. I mean, I know it's totally fast, yeah. and you can call no, me crazy. Wait, Bianca, Bianca, look at my listing. It has four bedrooms too. Mm -hmm. So you don't think I'm crazy? No. <laughs> I think we should move in together. <laughs> so you're really ready to take the step? Yeah. Yeah, I'm just. I'm more concerned about you. Why, because I'm the newbie at all of this? Yeah, yeah, you laugh, but yeah, in a way. Like, we, we, we can take things slower if you want to. No, I don't. This is what I want. You and me and our kids growing up together. Yeah, yeah that's exactly what I want. I mean, we'd, ha we'd have to get rid of the linoleum, obviously. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a start. Hang on, hang on. Hello? Marissa, it's Dixie, JR's mom. Um, I'm really sorry. I, I hope I'm not overstepping by calling you, but uh, I wanted to talk to you about JR. Okay. I know he's done some ugly things, but I think he's really turned a corner. He's committed to staying sober. He wants to make amends to you and AJ. Well, I'd like to believe that. You can. It would mean so much to him and, and to me if you could bring A.J. over for, for a visit, please. He misses him so much. All right, I will talk to A.J. and if he's ready, we'll stop by. That would be great. Thank you. Bye. Oh, sweetheart, oh, I was just on my way out. This won't take long. I have news, big news. Marissa and I are moving in together. You and and Marissa. Mar Mar Marissa? Yeah, I, I wanted to tell you before, but you know, you, you were all caught up in your own stuff, and you wanted to see Zach, which I you wanted to tell me what exactly. Marissa and I are in love. We have been for a while. Well, that's wonderful, sweetheart. That's wonderful. <laughs> Why am I only hearing about this now? Well, like I said, you've been kind of busy. Well, I'm never too busy for you. I mean, this is fantastic news. <laughs> <laughs> Do I wish it were someone other than Crystal's daughter? Yes, but that's okay. We won't dwell on the negative. We'll just hope that that apple fell far, far away from the trampy tree. Is AJ outside? Um. AJ isn't here. He didn't want to come. Why not? He's just not ready yet. But give it time. He'll get there. Time? So you can keep poisoning him against me? What do you want me to say, JR? He's scared. Honestly, I can't blame him. I'm sorry for lashing out like that. I'll go to the club, fish off the pier with him. I know how much he loves that. Actually, um... We probably won't be at the club very much longer. Bianca and I are moving in together. You're serious? 
I've done everything right. I got sober, I stayed that way, I've waited patiently for you to let me see my son. I thought the least you could do is show me some mutual respect. But instead of keeping it discreet, you are running all over town, rubbing our noses in it. It? What is it? Do you have any idea what this will do to AJ? Not having a father in the house, being raised by two lesbians? No. You're not putting our son through that. You get up in front of a judge and start spouting off that homophobic BS. I can't wait to see how that goes for you. No, don't think about me. Think about AJ. Think about how you're going to be subjecting him to embarrassment and torture for the rest of his life. The only thing I am subjecting him to is a stable, loving home. Yeah, with two mommies? You know, it's tough growing up. Without kids making fun of him, calling his mama Lezzy at school. Come on, Marissa. Give AJ a fighting chance. You say that you love him. I do. Then of give course him I the do. the best gift you possibly can. Let him go. You think abandoning AJ will be a gift? You're the one he's scared of. If anyone's doing damage, it's you. Oh, trust me. When AJ realizes the life that you've mapped out for him, he's not going to be able to run to me fast enough. What the hell happened to you? Say goodbye to any hope of visitation with your son. You are not getting anywhere near him. Well, I'd rethink that if I were you. What do you have there? Some statistics on how gay parents destroy children's lives? You know, most studies say the exact opposite. Just remember, I didn't want this to get ugly. But you forced my hand. What did you do? I think the more relevant question is, what did you do? <laughs> if you don't let me have my son, the whole world sees this. And they'll think it was you who put it out there. You are a son of a bitch. You know that? So I've been told. Hi. Hi. What's wrong? JR is blackmailing me. What? If I don't do exactly what he wants, he's going to throw us a coming out party that we'll never forget. JR planted a camera by your bed. Yeah. It's sick, I know. And if I don't give him custody of AJ, he's going to release the video to the whole world. JR has never been rational about getting what he wants, but this is... I know, I know. He just hates me so much that he just wants to hurt me. But he's hurting you, too, and Miranda and Gabby, and he's hurting AJ more than anyone else. What am I going to do? No. What are we going to do? The only way to fight JR is together. I'm oh, sorry that I've dragged you into this mess. Oh, no. Sex tapes have launched a lot of careers. I mean, who knows? Maybe we'll get our own reality show. Seriously, I'll just, I'll protect Miranda and Gabby as best I can, okay? I'll help them through it, and, you know, you don't have to worry about me and all this. I'm a big girl. I just hate that all this, this love and this joy that we've found is being overshadowed by viral videos and tabloid headlines. Well, I'm an old tabloid veteran. I know what they're gonna do. They're gonna just say whatever they wanna say, and we just ignore it. The sex tape is kind of hard to ignore. You're just so new at all this. I don't know, the last thing you need right now is to be in a relationship where you're smutted all over the internet. No, no, listen, you know that I love you. I just wanted to be able to tell people in our own way, you know, so that it would be special and really mean something. I don't know, I mean, God, this video, it's just, it's so naked for the world to see. And you know, reporters will be camped out on our lawn and... And you know they're gonna be harassing the kids. 
No, no, we're not gonna let that happen. We are a family. We have love. We have each other. I'm so proud to be your partner, you know that. It's just, you're totally freaking out that if this tape gets passed around, that, you know, all the people who think the way JR thinks will target us, that, that they'll attack us for, for not living our lives the way that they think we should. Yeah, it's been happening my whole life. It does not get easier. How do you deal? I just remind myself that we're not the ones hurting anyone. I just want what everyone wants. To love who I want to love. And without being shamed or judged for it. And I deserve that. And you know what? So do you. Ladies. Where's AJ? He's not coming. Hmm. Well, then you know what that means. Go ahead, JR. Do it. Release the tape. I will not be blackmailed, and neither will Bianca. I won't be blackmailed. <laughs> well, then you're going to be exposed to the world in so many ways. I will deal with it. We're going to deal with it together. Did you put her up to this? Marissa knows what she wants. I don't think so. Switching to girls, I think she's confused. I think she's following your lead. Or maybe it's Marissa knowing that you can throw your worst at her and she will survive because they have each other. Love, family, something that you don't have. Well, then, it's going to be a hell of a scandal. Do you and Bianca really want to put AJ, Miranda, and Gabby through that? We won't be putting them through it. You will. And no matter how you try to spin it, if AJ asks me where the video came from, I will tell him the truth. Every second of unhappiness, it'll be your fault. And he will know it. Well, looks like Marissa isn't such a wimp after all. We're worried that JR is going to call your bluff and release that video, aren't you? Well, I don't think it's a bluff. And in JR's current state of mind, I wouldn't even allow him to visit AJ. We like each other. I like you too. You too. <laughs> I like you. Uh, hey, who's this? It's nice to see such happy family, complete with garden though. <laughs> That's so happy. What's that? Um, you know what, AJ? Why don't we go in the kitchen? I think Nana Crystal is making some brownies. Okay, okay, okay. What has JR done? He has a video of me and Bianca. Yeah, that kind of video. And he wants to use it to get AJ back. <sighs> he swore that JR was making progress. I guess he's even managed to lie to his mother. Maybe you can talk to him. I, I mean, get him to see that. I, I can't. Is... I've tried over and over again. I talk to him blue in the face. He just tunes me out. Well, God, I mean, if you can't talk to him, then who can? Oh, whatever good there is in JR definitely comes from his mother. If we're lucky. Tell her what's going on. Maybe eventually he'll have to listen to her. What if JR takes the video and puts it on the internet? What if AJ sees it? How will I ever explain that to him? Mommy, look! This? Uh huh. Oh, it's really good. <laughs> nice architectural eye, buddy. Time. Hey, hey, do you mind if I borrow this for a second? I want to show your mom something. Go for it! What you got? This, this house just, just went on the market. 
I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't have the bold strokes of AJ's design, but I mean, it's not gonna last very long. Oh. This price. It's oh beautiful. my God, it is. It's beautiful. I love it. This is what we should be focusing on. You know, we should be thinking positively. It's <laughs> great. So, um, what do you say we go pick up Gabby and Miranda and um, check it out? Hey, uh, AJ, would you like to go on a little adventure? <laughs> If it seems too good to be true, it usually is. Mm -hmm. well, I guess it's a good thing we didn't get the kids' hopes up. Oh, <laughs> look how well they play together. <laughs> They're already family. We all are. What are you doing? Thinking positively. This is Bianca Montgomery. I'm calling about the house on Crescent and Park. Oh, I see. Okay, well, thank, thank you very much. Bye. <laughs> the sale fell through. This is our house if we want it. Family. Yeah, but not like every other family. Right, right, we're not, but no family is like in every other family. Right, which is what makes us so special. Exactly. What about the house? Mm -hmm. Yeah, what about the house? Will I get my own room? Will I get my own room? Okay, okay. Oh, well, we made an offer on the house, um, but the person who's selling it to us, they have to say yes. When? Well, hopefully really soon. Uh, hopefully really soon. Hello? Uh, thank you. Yeah, thanks for calling. Well? 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 Yes. already, JR? Um, it's all right, Bianca. What do you want, JR? AJ is here. I know. Well, I don't want you scaring him again. Here's one last thing you can use to convince him that I'm scary. Is this the tape? Yeah, your smutty little sex tape. The one you were gonna use to turn AJ against me. Marissa was only gonna tell AJ the truth if you put it out there like you threatened to do. Yeah, but I didn't threaten you guys into bed. Did that willingly. You honestly believe that we're the ones who are doing something wrong here? I know. You may have stopped me from using that video, but I will find a way to get my son back. joking. She, she talks about everything. See for yourself. <clears throat> no offense to your mom or anything, but I prefer to get my information about you from you. No one else. Besides, there's nothing in that book that could change the way I feel about you. And, um, how is that again? Sort of like this. That's good. <laughs> no, all this is just ancient history. The only thing I care about right now is our future. And this book. 
It bothers me. Okay? There, I said it. As if things weren't crazy enough already. I mean, good crazy, but... Marissa and I are just starting out, and, and we're trying to ease our kids into a whole new life. It's complicated, and then my mom throws this into the mix. I've been dealing with paparazzi since I can remember. Nothing is totally private. But featured in every bookstore, every movie theater across America? Really, Mom? 